friends, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library, and this is an episode of Altered Books. Altered Books is an in-person art program for adults that was meeting prior to the COVID-19 pandemic at Caroline Kennedy Library. In the meantime, we'll be sharing episodes via YouTube to help spark your creativity. Before we get started, here's a fun disclaimer. I am not an artist, and I do not pretend my art is even good, but it is something that I truly enjoy doing. With that said, no matter your skill level, we're here to be creative, make art, and most importantly, to have fun. You may be wondering, what exactly is an altered book? An altered book is a form of mixed media art that changes a book from its original form into a new and different form, thus altering the book's appearance and or meaning. In other words, the spirit of the program is to take an old, damaged, or unwanted book and upcycle it by giving it a new purpose, which in turn gives the book a new life. In this episode, I'll introduce an altered idea, creating inserts for mementos you have tucked away in a drawer, and a bonus project, an origami envelope, which also serves as a pocket. So why inserts? This is a great way to incorporate small paper mementos into your book without devoting an entire page around them. For this project, you'll need the following supplies, a hardcover book for altering. Not just any book will do. Stay tuned for more information on this. Mod Podge with a matte finish or craft glue that dries clear, pencil, scissors, construction paper, or cardstock. I used cardstock for my project. And mementos you have tucked away in a shoebox. Some examples, postcards from friends, ticket stubs, tarot cards, old playing cards, pictures of your cat. You get the idea. We'll talk more about this a little later. And optional items. An X-Acto knife if you have any fine cutting to do, hole punch and yarn, or embroidery floss if you wish to add a tassel to your tag or insert, scrapbook paper for your origami envelope, you could also use book pages, and paint, acrylic or watercolors if you're wanting to have painted pages. Before the fun begins, you'll need to do a little prep work on the book you're about to alter. If you're new to Altered Books or need a refresher, please take a few and watch the intro video which covers book selection, and the pre-project prep video which lays out the removal and gluing of pages, a very necessary step before starting this project. These videos can be found via the Dearborn Heights Library YouTube channel. Mementos, let's chat about them. In this context, they're any two-dimensional trinket or paper item. They can be any size, but they must be small enough to tuck into your book. This is your project, so put your own spin on it. Working in a library, I found old date do slips that we're no longer using. I made an insert or a tag using the old slips and cut some butterflies from a page that was in a damaged book. I used a green ultra fine point marker to write out a favorite quote by Fred Rogers, aka Mr. Rogers. It's nothing fancy by any means, but I upcycled some items that may have been thrown away. If your altered book's theme is travel, you may have a ticket from a plane, cruise ship, or from a trip to a museum in some far-flung place. These would be perfect to use for this project. Depending upon your item or items and how weighty they are or perhaps aren't, you may want to consider mounting them on construction paper or cardstock to give them some rigidity. The question to ask yourself is how big do you want your insert to be? I happen to have a bookmark on my desk that I traced on cardstock, and it worked out perfectly that it fit three of the due date slips. I used Mod Podge to glue down my items. Any sort of craft glue will work for this task. If you're wanting to add a tassel, you'll need a hole punch and yarn or embroidery floss. Punch a hole near the top of your item, but not too close to the edge. Cut several strands of yarn or floss. I opted for four strands and cut them at six inches each. Making the tassels quick and easy. Feed your strands halfway through the hole you punched and make a slip knot. And you're done with that. Let's move on to the origami envelope. To start, you'll need paper of some sort. I use scrapbooking paper, but just about anything could be used. And a pair of scissors. You'll need to decide on the size you'd like your envelope, which is dependent on the size of your page. I'll throw out some measurements for my project so you'll have a starting point that you can tweak for your own project. 
For the first step, you'll need a very simple square. My book page is 8.5 by 5.5 inches, and I made my square for the envelope 7 inches by 7 inches. You may want to tweak these numbers depending upon the size you'd like your envelope to be for your project. Fold your paper in half diagonally, and again the opposite direction. For each of these folds, your paper will be folded into a triangle. When you've completed these two folds, and you unfold your paper, you'll see an X creased into your page. Next, take two diagonal corners and fold them neatly to the center. These will become the side edges of your envelope. You should now have two diamond shapes, one at the top and one at the bottom of your page. Now you'll need to fold in just the edges of the bottom diamond and then the bottom point, which will create a tab that you can either tuck inside the envelope or glue at a later point. Your paper should be looking more recognizable as an envelope now. Take the bottom flap you just created and fold it upwards to where the points meet in the center of your envelope. This is now the bottom panel of your envelope. You have one diamond left to fold. By folding it in half towards the middle of your envelope, the flap, which will become the closure of your envelope, will be created. Apply glue along the bottom seams of your envelope and either tuck the center tab you created earlier or add a dab of glue to hold it in place. And bazinga! You just created an origami envelope for your altered book. If you wish to paint your pages, this is the perfect time to do so, but be sure to let them thoroughly dry before applying any glue. Alright, last step. Flip over your envelope so the back is facing upwards. To create a pocket, apply glue to just the left, right, and bottom edges of your envelope. Apply pressure to your envelope to help the glue and surfaces evenly meet. Let your project dry before tucking away any inserts you created. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this episode of Altered Books. As always, we would love to see what you created, even if you're just getting started. Feel free to email your photos to dhreference at gmail.com or use hashtag dhclibraries on social media. Before we wrap up, did you know that Dearborn Heights City Libraries are offering curbside pickup? You can request books, movies, music, and even video games via our website, dhcl.mishlibrary.org, by phone or even email, and we'll bring the items out to you. Home delivery is also an option. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.